Hi everybody and welcome back to Story Behind the Story. I'm your host, Keegan Cooper, and with me now is Kendrick Calfi. How are you doing, man? Doing good. Doing good. Awesome. It is spooky season now. It is. Are you I'm excited? Hyped. And, I'm hyped. And your story actually has to do with um, Nottoway County um, halting or, or encouraging a halt on the Halloween celebrations that we typically see. Yes. Why do you think that is? And I know with COVID and everything and the mitigation measures and making sure that people are socially distancing, but as we see cases you know, going down in numbers, do you think it's still to prevent an outbreak? Yes, um, and that was largely part of the discussion that happened on Monday City Council meeting. So I went there and the first 30 minutes was just them discussing an update on COVID in the city and the county and then also, of course, uh, encouraging the halt to the two activities. Um, Ty Parsons is on the council and he actually works at Northwest Missouri State um, and he was a big advocate for um, putting a halt on these events because um, although COVID is going down, we're seeing it uh, the numbers at Northwest going down, but in the community, it's still staying kind of constant. Um, and actually, these past two days, we've seen an increase in cases as well. 13 the previous day and 11 uh, today. Do you think that this is an event, or these events, excuse me, need to happen to, to boost morale, or do you think that it's a good idea to hold these? I mean, these are, are things that have been happening for years. I mean, the Mazingo yeah. Haunted Campground is something that people have been going back to and back to and back to. I mean, it attracts around 3,000 to 5,000 people. Sure. Um, on a public safety sense, I think that it's probably smart that they um, that they are suggesting not to have it. But I would also say that you do have a point that it, it really brings the community together. It's a thing that helps uh, boost morale in the community and among community members as well as um, between city staff and residents because they kind of help block off the streets for the downtown trick-or-treat and then out at Mazingo they help with the food the preparation and all that so I think it's definitely going to be events that are missed by the community if they don't go on um, keep in mind that it's not an official um, it's not official that they're not happening yet but that the city is encouraging them not to and um, if let's say that they they come out and it's officially not mm -hmm. not going to happen what does Halloween look like for your you know your typical kid that you know is used to being able to go out to these events and trick-or-treat or families that are used to going to those things how will they have to adapt to doing something different sure yeah um, <clears throat> the council said that they, they'll encourage people to practice social distancing do those CDC guidelines when they're going out and doing private trick-or-treating um, they're actually going to release a statement later saying um, if you're handing out candy then you should probably have hand sanitizer, have it prepackaged where they're not reaching in the same bowl. Um, just those kind of things that are going to keep kids safe during that process of trick-or-treating house to house. And then moving forward even past Halloween and as we move into the holiday season and we see, you know, events like you know, the Christmas tree lighting and, and things like this or Thanksgiving celebrations, how do you think the city will react to those as we move into the holiday season? Yeah, I think it's something they're going to have to keep their eye on because they do definitely don't want to keep canceling events um, in the future as things are getting better. But I think we're going to see a process of, like we've seen across uh, the nation, of things slowly reopening. Uh, schools were slowly reopening, of course, we know that. Um, and then the process of just piece by piece kind of getting things back to somewhat normal. But as of now, it's still hard to tell a timeline for that, um, whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas or beyond. Well, Kendrick, I want to thank you so much for coming on this episode and, and talking with us here today. Thanks we'll for having me. Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> we'll take a short break, and we'll be right back with some more Story Behind the Story.